Well guys, today is uh, February the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you uh, what I usually look for when I'm going in the woods if I want to light a fire. This is what I use majority of the time for uh, starting my fires. Uh, you know, most places I trap, uh, there's always like a combination of ver and spruce trees. Sometimes there's more spruce, sometimes more ver. But, uh, but when I go in to light a fire, there's always two things I look for. And, uh, and I'll just go about it. And right here, I always look for uh, uh, dead uh, balsam fir limbs that uh, turn orange or reddish color like that. I, and then just get some of those uh, small tips like that there. And you can see the trees are, are loaded with snow here. And, oh, sinky. And I also look for, well, they're not so good, but not so much on them. But uh, I'll just have a quick look around here now. I try to find small limbs, you know, they got that uh, uh, old man's beard on it. I'll just walk over this way here. Just have a quick look. Some more than small ones like that. Okay, so something like <laughs> There's a bit on these, but not a whole lot, but I'll take them. And you can see there's these these trees are loaded with snow. All right. Now look for something got this old man's beard on like that. And like that there, these little tips. Oh yeah, right here is really good. If you can find some of this here. These small stuff like that. And you can see the snow falling over this. There's a lot of snow on it, so. Okay, over here, I just. Whoa. And you can see this old man's beard. Some of these small twigs. And, okay, I'll try that. Okay. Yeah, I'll try over here. I'll put, put the glove down for the larger camera on. Now, this is Friday the 13th, so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. And everything is wet here, but... I usually just scrunch it all together, combination of those little sticks and that balsam fir. Let's see how that goes here now. Hand is dirty. And I normally carry a loiter with me, I just don't have no one now. It is easier with loiter because around here, you know, uh, if you got a loiter fire, you need to get a fire going quick so I don't mess around with too much. But anyway, I got matches here for now and these is just little nothing special with these matches and everything is a bit wet here but so I'll drop the matches over there and I like to keep it long so that way you could tip oh uh, it's a bit damp here but Now, drop the matches in the snow. Ugh. We'll give that a try again. I like to keep it lying so you can tip it then. See, I just, so that's all it is, you know, and everything is wet around here, and I just all fall apart, I'm here now, but that's what I look for is those dry balsam fir limbs and some of them small twigs there with the old man's beard on it. And 
And I like to keep it kind of long so then you can tip it any which way you can, you know? Huh. I wouldn't go on the first match, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'll just show you know, what you can do, right? Oh, so anyway, guys, that's uh, my number one go-to fire starter. Uh, but like, uh, it depends on where you live to, I guess. But around here, like I said, the majority of places I walk into got a combination of either balsam, like a combination of balsam fir and spruce trees, and. Uh, Sometimes I'll go in and I'll get some birch bark or whatever, but majority of the time I just get dry balsam fir limbs, you know, this after gone red, orange color like that, did. And uh, and these uh, spruce twigs that got the uh, old man's beard on it. And I just scrunch it all together and make it kind of long. So that way once you start it, you can tip it, get the fire going up in, in the right way, like. So, so anyway, uh, you know, you can see... <laughs> Everything is damp net around here, and uh, well, it took two matches, but uh, could have easily done it with one. Uh, so anyway, I just thought I'd share that because I do see similar videos out there, and uh, I just thought I'd share what I use anyway. Uh, and like I said, I probably use that nine times out of ten, probably. So, but now in some places, uh, you mightn't have so easy a job of finding that kind of stuff. I'm just just showing you what I use because where I live to. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, around here I could walk in, I just look around and. It don't take me very long actually to find those dead trees because that's the majority of the trees we got here anyway. So so anyway, I guess that's about it for this one. And uh, I'm going to do it again tomorrow, take up a few traps, and uh, maybe I'll uh, do a little update too. So uh, like always, thanks for watching. Till next time.